So this morning we have some builders coming around because I don't have a light in this room, hence why I've got my fairy lights all along my ceiling. They're gonna move a switch here and then they're gonna connect some pendant light up there. But the problem is they're gonna turn off the electricity so I won't be able to do any work. Oh yeah, and it's just the norm, but I do have an exam tomorrow. I don't know why I always film the day before I have an exam. I think it's because it makes me work harder, but it is rewarding though to see me actually tick off all the tasks that I need to do. Uh, and I need to do quite a lot today. I've not actually been to a King's Library this entire year. I've never used the booking website. I'm not sure if I mentioned, but King's is now, for me, it's all online. So even though universities could stay open, they decided to only keep things that had to be kept open. So for example, the trading floors. Nicole's also going to the Morn Library, but not only was that booked up, but I also had slight PTSD from the 24 hour in the Morn vlog video that I did. So I booked New Hunt's library. All I know from Poppy is that she's seen rats in there, but I'm hoping the uh, productive vibes of the other students will encourage me to do some good work. So it's an hour long walk to get to the library. What you have to do is you have to book three hour long slots. So I've got one from 10.30 to 1.30. Then I get a little 45 minute break for lunch. And then I'm going back in from 2.15 till 5.15. My labour economics exam is one hour, 20 multiple choice questions with calculus. So it's like two or three minutes per question, working fast, so I gotta know the graphs. But again, it's like with my last exam, there is the potential to get 100%, which is nice. studying with a mask on your face, uh, I must admit, but it was um, also quite cold as well. I'm used to being at home and then just like going to the fridge whenever I want for snacks. Of course at the moment you can't eat any food um, or drink in the library. Borough Market is literally just around the corner, it's like a five minute walk. So I went in, I've never been before and it was so pretty, it was nice to have some sort of Christmas vibe right now. I was gonna go look for the shop May May, not just because I'm called Maying, but because Uncle Roger did a video there and I wanted to see a bit of a shirt. Instead, I went to this place called Pedella or something like that, because um, it was the most highly rated and they got this pumpkin ricotta. Okay, granted, you only get six. Huh? That's more than a pound per ravioli, but it is very tasty. I've also found where the good seats are because there are some nice more open ones but there are also some at the back where you face onto the hospital and that's kind of it was just kind of depressing when I walked around there because I was looking for the toilet and you just see people going in and out of the hospital in like wheelchairs and yeah it made me feel a bit sad what was really funny was Nicole was sending me videos of her in the Morn Library studying but she was put up in the postgraduate tower she's basically just been locked in a room and left there for three hours to do work apparently in the afternoon it's a lot busier so we'll see what it was like. It was really empty there this morning. Activities slightly uh, waning at the moment. I just went to get myself some more water because I think I might be slightly dehydrated. Um, and yes, I'm a little cold, hence why I've got my coat on. I've completed lecture three and four, and now I just need to do five and six. And I also saw my friend Liv. Apparently she was here in the morning, but I must have missed her. We both haven't seen anyone else apart from our other flatmate, so it was so nice to see her. <laughs> This is like a new area for me. Yeah. But the buildings here are really, You're really You're gonna learn pretty. about guides. Yeah, do you I'll want to do a, a tour? Oh it's pretty. I mean, the strand one is better. Someone's worked hard to crochet that. Oh, who are these people? 
It goes back to 1867. So I will link to that article down below. Best places to cry in Kings. <laughs> Thank you. This statue was of Thomas Guy. It's like a slave trader or made money off slave trading. So they have boarded that up. Thomas Guy Club is basically like an exclusive underground bar. But it's like lovely. Like it's this sort of almost like a railway tunnel brick. They film loads of stuff here. It was in Killing Eve. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, let's see. Oh, England. Oh my god, he's calling us! However, despite all my medical training, my heart was just not in it. I don't know how much he will have to say. He could go on for a while. Yeah, he's a poet. Beach in summer. So this is the Bella Library, the library that I should have picked to go in. It's really pretty. I think I've gone and lost my rail card which is really annoying. So I would have walked home, but honestly, I'm starving. That lunch was tiny and I've eaten all of my snacks that I packed. But Nicole said that she has made me extra for dinner. She had quesadillas, um, so I honestly cannot wait to get home. I now have a light switch in my room. The stars are a little bit wonky now, but it just looks like a giant moon in the middle. Honestly, that dinner was just what I needed. But something that is, of course, going to bring me a lot of joy um, is a delivery. Because I'm working with Jack Wills this weekend. Videos that sponsored, but the photos that will go on my Instagram, they will be sponsored. Um, and I got some new boots. I've been wanting boots like these for ages because I keep on wanting to wear dresses or like winter dresses with a cardigan, tights, and then boots. But because, um, as you can see, I only own white trainers, the look isn't isn't really it. I got the hoodie. I've got a lovely white chunky knit cardigan. I got the hat. So yeah, check out my Instagram to see how I styled these. This is what I'm going to be doing on my weekend after my exam is finished. I got a little rugby top, and I got some socks because I thought the socks would just finish off the boots. This hanging out of the boot. Ooh. I also returned to my jeans um, for a different size because uh, they were a little bit tight. Yay! I feel like today has been like that. It's now, it's now looking up. So this is what it looks like. All I'm saying is that best dressed would not wear that kind of shoe and sock combination. So while doing the fashion show for my friends, I found my Oyster card. So it was actually in the wrong coat. I didn't even bring it with me. Um, but you know when you buy new clothes and they arrive and then you spend two hours showing them to your friends, finding good outfits? Yeah, that's what I did. It's 10 o'clock now. I'm gonna drink some water and get started. I'm only gonna do lecture five and then I'm gonna move lecture six to tomorrow. So it is just gone midnight and I've just finished reading. My eyes are really tired and I'm really ready for bed. But regardless, thank you very much for joining me today and keeping me company. I will see you next week. Have a lovely day. Bye.